So why yeah. do people put these toxic, toxic ingredients in there? Um, like, I would say it mostly comes down to profits. Okay. Yeah. So is it just cheaper to make it with these products? Yeah, cheaper, wow. uh, longer shelf life. Once I learned all the things that I learned, there was no way I could close my eyes and, or look the other way. I just couldn't do it. Welcome back to the Maybound Podcast. I'm Holly. And I'm Brian. And today we have a special guest with us. Her name is Jen Lugo from, and she's actually the owner of Verafina. Mm -hmm. So thank you for having me. Yes, <laughs> we're super excited to have you. So just start off, what's, what's Verafina? Verafina is pure natural toxin-free skincare. Oh, very cool. Yeah. So did you create it? I did. Wow. Yeah. How'd you get into it? Um, well, it was interesting. I was a graphic artist for 13 years mm -hmm. uh, before I came into this, but um, I was also writing for a magazine, Southern Idaho Magazine, and I was doing a, it was Mother's Day issue, and I was doing a, like a do-it-yourself or make-it-yourself uh, spa gift for mom. Mm -hmm. So I started doing research, which I love doing research, it's one of my favorite <laughs> pastimes. <laughs> Sound like uh, your wife. Yeah. 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 Some of you. <laughs> oh, I can research for hours. Maybe that's yeah. what makes the best business women. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Um, and I was just researching some recipes for a sugar scrub or something uh, as a spa gift for mom. And I stumbled upon the cosmetics database. Are you familiar? Have you mm -hmm. heard of it? Mm -hmm. It's really cool. If you're a nerd like me, it's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. um, so it's a website where they have all third party research mm -hmm. and you can look up the products you're using and it will tell you how toxic they are. Oh, on a scale wow. from, it used to be a scale from zero to 10. They've changed it now from a one to 10. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I was pretty excited to look up the products I was using on my kids um, because I was, you know, super naive and trusting and uh -huh. thought everyone had uh, my best interest at heart. So I looked at the products I was using on my kids and they were pretty mainstream, widely used, well-known products. And they were a, a seven and an eight on the scale where 10 is the worst. Wow. Uh, based on the idea that about 60% of what you put on your skin gets absorbed into your bloodstream mm -hmm. um, and can affect your, your health. Um, well, yeah, it's like just as bad as eating it, right? Yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. it's going but, into all those pores. But when you eat food that has toxins, which it's important to eat healthy, toxin-free food, but mm -hmm. you do have your kidneys and you have yeah, your liver and it filters it wash out. Wash it out, yeah. And your skin doesn't have that, that filter necessarily. So, and then with babies, it's more like 90% permeability. Oh, wow. So Really? Wow. Yeah. So <clears throat> when I put those, when I saw those numbers, I was like, oh. <gasps> What's wrong with you? <laughs> Something's wrong. I didn't bathe my kids probably for two weeks. Yeah. It's just water, water baths and water. <laughs> dry skin. You know, it's okay. No toothpaste. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hygiene went out the window. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but it just inspired me to start researching more. I needed to know more. So I started researching. I was pregnant with Trey at the time, my youngest. He's 14, almost 15 now. So I was, I would put my kids to bed about 8.30 at night. And then I would research until I couldn't keep my eyes open anymore wow. through a lot of my pregnancy. That was probably till about 530 in the morning. <laughs> I'd be exhausted. Um, I'd get a few hours of sleep and I'd wake up and take care of the kids and do it all over again. Wow. So um, I did that for a really long time and I gained so much knowledge. I could pick up any product and look at the ingredient list and I knew what the ingredients were used for. I knew how they affected the body. Also a side note, um, Europe has banned about 1100, it's 1100, I think maybe 1300 ingredients. I heard yes. that they're way ahead of us. For way. some reason, we allow in the United yeah. States all sorts of crazy stuff that goes in our stuff or our yeah. cosmetics, food, mm -hmm. whatever it is. Yeah. Uh, the U.S. has 11 banned ingredients. 11? 11. That's it? <laughs> Just 11. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> one, one. Um, and the industry is not regulated. So as a manufacturer, I can put pretty much anything I want in my products, even if even if ingredients are thought to maybe cause um, cancer, cancer or endocrine disruption or infertility or allergies or you name it, mm -hmm. um, I can use it and it's not regulated. That's wow. crazy. So why yeah. do people put these toxic, toxic ingredients in there? Um, like, I would say it mostly comes down to profits. Okay. Yeah. So is it just cheaper to make it with these products? Yeah. Cheaper, wow. um, longer shelf life, for example, mineral yeah, oil, it's a petroleum based product and its shelf life is indefinite. So mm -hmm. um, mineral oil is the byproduct of the distillation of gas. It is a premature ager of the skin. And, and that's not even the worst of it, but 90% of commercial products, at least that was the number several years back. I don't know, some people have cleaned up their act a little bit, mm -hmm. but you know, marketing kind of covers up the rest. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. 
So yeah, there's just a lot of junk in, in our products still, even, mm-hmm. I mean, and this was back in what my research started in 2008. Wow. Um, and there was almost nothing on the market that was clean back then. Mm, and yeah. now there's a lot more companies popping up with cleaner ingredients, but I, mm. <laughs> So I, 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 we're I, acting like that they're clean ingredients yeah. and not really clean. Is yeah. that what you're? <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of greenwashing, mm. a lot of marketing that helps to you know cover up some of that. But yeah. that's okay. I stay in my lane. I do what I do. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta ask, did it, did it carry over into food as well? I so was like I was already this. doing clean. Food. Oh, were you? So okay. yeah, and I so I I have three kids. I gave birth to all three of them naturally. And I had a lot of health problems growing up. So I was already kind of on the radar of living a healthy lifestyle, but I didn't realize how much like putting something on your skin was going to impact your health as well. Mm-hmm. So that was a, like, that was the next step of my journey. My wellness journey was figuring out how toxic oh. products can be. When you put I on feel your like skin. I'm talking to two Hollies. <laughs> <laughs> Holly, one, Holly. You guys are identical. <laughs> He's, he started to come around. He used to make fun it of me took quite me a, while. a bit. Yeah. yeah I'd be He's like, like, oh, it's big soap and big, big lotions. lotions after <laughs> me. <laughs> I was like, no, it's really bad. Like in big deodorant. I'm like, yeah. no, like yeah. that deodorant is not good that you're using. Yeah. So I stopped. I believed her. I trusted good job. her. I did, yeah, so good I'm job. Good job. Testing right. your wife. Once I heard it was killing my testosterone, I was like, all right. Oh, that, that's like a manly <laughs> reaction. <laughs> Like, oh. <laughs> not going to touch my testosterone. So, but yeah. Well, good. You know, yeah. I've, I've come, I've come around. Yeah. Boom. You know, I think once you have the knowledge, you choose differently. Mm-hmm. Knowledge just, and, and that was for me. Once I learned all the things that I learned, there was no way I could close my eyes and, or look the other way. I just couldn't do it. Yeah. yeah. I knew too much. It's, 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 it's crazy because I feel like, I don't know, like smaller companies like you, there's probably a lot of people trying to do what you're doing, but yeah. it's just, I mean, how hard is it? The barrier to entry, it's especially hard. something like this. Yeah. I mean, it's hard. Um, I think it's different for everyone. I um, feel like I kind of got lucky or maybe, you know, my path was paved for me. I felt like it chose me. Mm-hmm. So yeah. I feel like things have just really lined up um, to take me where I am today because it was really important to me. I mean, at first I started creating ingre- or creating products just for my kids. I mean, it was really, I wasn't planning on making a business out of it. I just wanted something I could use on my kids and feel good about. And mm-hmm. I'm, I'm a purist. I might be, you know, to the extreme, even more so than what's really necessary. But that's what makes me feel good. So mm-hmm. I went all the way to the extreme to make sure I had products I could use on my kids. And just, not, I don't want to worry about it. I don't want to be going, yeah. oh, well, is this going to cause problems for my kids later? So I just went way to the extreme in mm-hmm. creating really, really clean products. So my products on this scale are, are well, when the scale started with a zero, they were between a zero and a one. And wow. so now they're, I nice. guess they would be a one or a two. The toxicity yeah. level. Yeah, but they're 99 to 100 percent natural, all of them. So Very cool. And have your kids like continued with that? Um, for the most part. But, you know, I mean, I've got a teenage daughter and, mm-hmm. you know, the Bath and Body Works. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Victoria's yeah. Secret. You know, it, it, it's hard. It, it is hard. It's hard. And so and I don't I don't shove it down my kids throats they yeah. they've been taught and they know and they have enough education but um they make their choices mm-hmm. i mean they use most of my products but then mm-hmm. they have their other little fun stuff that that they'll use yeah <laughs> and you know i just try to make sure that they at least have some good balance because you know you can't do it perfectly and i think a healthy mindset is even more important than all of that mm-hmm. um absolutely so i think uh I think they have some decent balance. That's we'll good. put it that way. That's great. That, that's cool. That's really cool. Like I, so like going through the same similar journey. Obviously, we didn't create products, but I mean, Holly's been how long? We created. When did you start? We yeah, a but I'm, I'm talking about products like this. Yeah, where skincare. Yeah, skincare. Um, I know this sounds weird, but I feel like Holly had a little bit of pushback from people. Mm. Did you get that? Like people are like, "You're insane." Like I thought she was insane for a little while. I. I did you like lose friends over this? No, I think the only pushback was myself. Really? Because I thought, oh, I'm so extreme. Nobody's going to care about this. Mm. And so what had happened was my sister-in-law at the time, she was doing a holiday boutique, you know, with like the jewelry and the bags. And this was like years ago. And she said, Jen, you should come and show your products. I'm a little bit of a perfectionist. Mm -hmm. And I was a graphic artist at the time. I had no labels for my products. There were no scents. They were just, everything was unscented. I was not prepared. I mean, I had products I was using, like we were actively using them on my kids and on my family, but they were not like sellable, marketable, (laughs) I guess we'll say. Um, But she goes, well, just come and tell people what you've learned. And then I was like, okay, I, I love educating people. I'm like, okay, I'm on it. I'll come teach them what I've learned. Um, but I came and she had some random like maroon tablecloth that we threw on a fold-up table and 
had my little products with no labels, just plain sitting there. And I was like, oh my gosh, I feel so ridiculous right now. <laughs> and then all the other displays were so pretty and so put together. And so people started coming by and, and they're like, oh, what do you have here? And so I just started telling them what I'd learned. And before I knew it, there's this huge group of women huddled around my table, little me standing there with no confidence, wondering <laughs> what the heck I was doing there, explaining what I learned. And their eyes were as big as saucers. And they were like, oh my gosh, I had no idea. Had no idea. It was what everybody was saying. Yeah. So then pretty soon they're like, well, how much for this? And how much for that? And I was like, I wasn't planning on selling anything. <laughs> what the heck? So I went into my brother's office and I typed up a price list. I had no idea if I was making money or losing money. I thought, well, I think maybe they'd pay this much for that or for this. Um, and so I think I left that party with pre-orders. Maybe it was like $400 worth of product. Wow. And then I was like, wait a second, nothing is preserved. I was keeping things that needed to be preserved in the fridge, uh -huh. but that wasn't really realistic for selling mm. things. So I was like, okay, now I have to figure out this piece of the puzzle where I'm figuring out a preservative that I feel good about because yeah. I feel like all of the preservatives that I had researched were just, they didn't meet my standards. So mm -hmm. that was the next thing. And I was super stressed and I thought, okay, if I can't figure this out and feel good about it, then I'm just going to refund everybody. And I'm just going to just not going to do it. Yeah. Then the next phase was more research to figure out a preservative system, then plus testing it mm -hmm. and making everything look beautiful and making, you know, labels and things like that. So yeah, it was a little bit of a journey. Um, I did figure out the preservative situation. Um, it's still the preservative I use today and it's the only synthetic ingredient that I use, but it's really cool because, um, I'm going to be a nerd right now, but, mm -hmm. uh, the molecular size of this preservative is so large that it is too big to like pass through your skin oh. and enter your bloodstream. So it just sits on top. Oh, wow. Um, and then even on the hazard scale, it's like a three. So oh. it's mm. really quite gentle and really safe. Um, but it's not natural, but it was the only way I could. So you found like the best option. The best option. Yeah. yeah. And you know, nothing's perfect. So, mm -hmm. and being a perfectionist, I had to kind of come to terms with, okay, the rest of this is like the most pure, clean yeah. ingredients. And we don't want that to turn into bacteria and yeah. gross yeah. stuff that's going <laughs> to cause harm too. So, yeah. um, so that's a preservative that I still, I still love it. And, um, I think it's a, a great option to preserve the products that need preservation. A lot of my products that's don't awesome. need it. They're mm -hmm. all oil based and mm -hmm. those are hundred percent natural, but that so really do cool. you make all your own products still or do you have like a company? It's still in-house. So it's I don't, in -house. I don't like myself yeah. make things anymore. I have other people doing that, but okay. we do keep that in-house so we can make sure quality control and we make things in fairly small batches. Mm -hmm. um, I also have a, a private label it's part of the company and a wholesale and affiliate marketing, all that. Um, but with our private label, we do much larger batches, but we do those in-house too. So that's wow. cool. It's a lot of fun. So where uh, awesome. where can you buy? We sell the... mostly through our uh, through our website. It's verafina.com. Okay. What is it? Sorry, say it again. I was talking over you. Oh, <laughs> verafina.com. Verafina.com. Yeah. Okay. And then we have some of our products on Amazon, like our deodorants are on Amazon Prime. Hmm. So you can get those super fast with Amazon. Prime. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> Love Amazon. Yep. Yeah, yep. me too. That's, that's where she sells That's where stuff. I sell my main okay. bands yeah. and shirts. Yeah, it's yeah. Amazon Prime. Mm -hmm. It's the nice. best. <laughs> so the have you... you considered adding any more to Amazon Prime or do you just like... Yeah. I mean, you know, Amazon is fantastic. You get a lot of eyeballs on mm -hmm. your product. Mm -hmm. And so that's, I mean, they do take quite a percentage. Yeah. So yeah. I love when we sell things through the website, but um, it's, it's nice to have both channels streaming from different audiences. Um, but yeah, we'll probably add more things to Prime. Um, it's just, I'm spinning so many plates all the time. Yeah. It's like, hey, where do, do we want to focus on this part yeah. of the business or that part of the business? But So how yeah. do you find your customers or do they find you? Okay. So for the last, let's see, 12 years, um, it's just all been word of mouth. Wow. So we just started uh, advertising just in the last couple of months. So mm -hmm. we're kind of testing some things and seeing what happens and mm -hmm. what comes of it. But yeah, it's mostly been word of mouth. Uh, Wow. A lot of our customers, they try the product and they fall love in love it. with it. Yeah, <laughs> they feel good about it and it works well and uh, it's clean and mm -hmm. smells good. Tell me all of the different, like, can, would you be able to name all the different products that you have? Probably, yeah. So we have a skincare line for the okay. face. Mm -hmm. uh, we have two different types of cleansers and we have a C. Buckthorn facial cream that's my number one bestseller because it's fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> it's fabulous. Uh, we have a rose water mist that's part of our, let's see, we have like a top five and that's one of our top five as well. 
Uh, first aid stick is probably my most inspired product. A first aid stick? First aid what, stick. Was it like a Neosporin yeah. type thing? Mm -hmm. wow, it's amazing. Cool. So it has Tamanu oil in it, which is like liquid gold. It speeds mm. up your skin's own healing mechanism. Wow. So it speeds up skin uh, cell turnover. So mm -hmm. when your skin cells are damaged, sometimes they hang on a little bit too long and this helps them fall off so new skin cells can come to the surface. Mm -hmm. um, so your skin heals really fast. Nice. And it's good cool. for so many things. I have a story I've shared lots of times because it's my favorite. Um, but back in the early days, I had a customer who loved the first aid stick, was their favorite thing. And they had a sister coming into town and her baby had the worst diaper rash, like skin bleeding, mm. like really bad, painful. And they had her on prescription diaper rash cream and it still wasn't helping. So she called me, she goes, Jen, do you think this would work on my sister's baby for diaper rash? And I'm like, I really think it will. Mm -hmm. So she came over and got it. And the next morning, so they put it on. The next morning she called me, she's like, Jen, you won't believe it. Her skin is already healing up. Wow. And I was wow. like, yes, that's what I made it for. <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> that's Supporting awesome. the skin. So. so do you market it as like a diaper rash cream too? I don't, mm -hmm. I don't really. I mean, <laughs> it's just, it's all word of mouth. Uh -huh. And yep. so on my website, if you go to the first aid stick, we have a large first aid stick, a small one, and then in a jar, it's an ointment. Mm -hmm. But the reviews are just fantastic. Everyone just loves it. Wow. Nick, uh, customers have nicknamed it the miracle stick. Uh -huh. miracle it's stick. fun. It's like fun. That. I love that. It's, it's good. I like it. That's the miracle good. stick. <laughs> yeah. That's kind of interesting. We had the same experience with, uh, the camera was it our Kea. She had a really bad rash on her face and we got all sorts of creams from the doctors. And then she happened to contact some lady that she knew. And it was actually my midwife. Yeah. yeah. She my just had like a little vial yeah. of something. Mm -hmm. She's like, Hey, throw this on there. So I'm just like, and yeah. then it healed it like that. I'm just like the amazing. natural stuff yeah. is just the it's, way to go. It's why it's here. Which is why I'm surprised like, that you started as long as you did because uh, long ago, because 12 years ago, that was way before people got into this, yes. like push, natural push. I know. That's what I'm saying. Like there was nothing when I was doing my research. There yeah. was nothing well, I available. think that was 14 years ago. Yeah. No, like I, years. I got into my natural push 12 years ago. Oh, was that and 12 years ago? Yeah. Jeez, maybe, well, maybe ele actually old. 11. It was Maylee was a baby or oh, when okay. I was pregnant with Maylee. So 11 years ago yeah. is when I got kind of into there my There was like an awakening. That's, that's, kind of when, yeah, yeah. that's when the awakening started. Yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Which is great. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's so good. So much better than everybody just popping pills for everything. Yeah. So that's what. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I don't know. I just, lately, that's what I feel like is everybody's kind of moved towards this mm -hmm. type of care. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. There's I'm, something, I'm happy there's something for it. to it. There, there, there <laughs> really is. There it. really is. And even for a guy that was very skeptical. <laughs> yeah. But I came around. I'm so proud around. of you. Yeah. <laughs> It took a while. He took like 14 years. <laughs> that's all. <laughs> that's no all. big deal. That's all. A guy who was raised on antibiotics. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah. that's how I was raised. That was candy. If yeah. I had a cough, up. Mm -hmm. would, my mom would just throw antibiotics down my face. So. Well, and that's all we knew, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, we just did what we knew yep. and we trusted pharmaceuticals yeah. and we trusted. This. They have your best interest. Yeah. That's what yeah, we no. thought. <laughs> I, I really, truly thought that that was the case. Oh, yeah. So naive. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so wise now <laughs> <laughs> about something. Yeah. That's cool. So, what's your favorite product out of everything? Is it the stick, mm, the miracle mm, stick? Probably. Yeah, that sounds probably. Pretty cool. Although we have a new product, it's a burn cream, and it's incredible for sunburns. And I'm kind of digging that right now. Oh. That's cool. Yeah, because it just literally will. 24 hours, your sunburn is at least the redness is cut at least by 50 percent, really? and then in two days, it's like wow. you weren't you weren't sunburned. And what's in no it? Feeling. It has virgin coconut oil. It's really simple. Virgin coconut oil it has lard. Mm -hmm. Lard is packed full of vitamin D, and that really helps skin cell turnover and helps reduce um, inflammation, which you have a sunburn, that's major inflammation. And then it has a uh, tiare flower. It's like a Tahitian gardenia, mm -hmm. um, and that's really great for the skin too, and vitamin E. It's really simple, but it works so darn well. <laughs> so do you, when you make these products, do you just kind of like experiment as you go? Do you like try it for a little while and adjust it yeah. and try it again mm -hmm. and adjust it. So yeah. how long does it take you to kind of come up with a new product? Oh gosh. Well, coming up with the ideas, like yeah. I have a million ideas uh -huh. all the time, but most of my products were made because either my family had a need or somebody that I know had a need, um, which I love because that's when you're inspired and you're do doing something mm -hmm. to, to help specifically someone. help somebody you care about. At least that's for me. Yeah. Yeah. That's where my intuition comes out full force. And mm -hmm because I really love and care about people in general, mm -hmm. even more so the people that I'm close with. And so that's how the first aid stick came about. I had a, a friend from school. I mean, we weren't even close, close friends, but we'd gotten back in touch over Facebook. We were high school friends, or maybe it was even middle school. 
But she found out what I was doing and she contacted me and said, hey, I have this friend who works with acetone all day long and his skin is cracked and bleeding and just so sore. Is there something you can make to help his hands? And I was like, okay, so put on my thinking cap. I start like <laughs> thinking about um, what that might be. And then the re you know research is like full force trying to find all of the natural ingredients that help the skin to heal and have all those really strong healing capabilities. And so, and back then being a new formulator, um, I've learned a lot since then. And a lot of formulators, they just put the bare minimum and then lots of fillers. And I was like, let's just pack it full, like yeah. 100% yeah. of everything. <laughs> <laughs> so I ended up creating the first aid stick and it worked great for him. And then we started using it on all different things. We found it was great for bee stings. Wow. My little nephew had run in the house. He was at my house. We, I lived up in Idaho when I created this line or created my business. Um, and he'd gotten stung by a bee outside. We had like two acres of ground and lots of nature outside. <laughs> he comes running in the house, first aid, first aid. Really? And so we rubbed it on his uh, bee sting and instantly the pain went away. And I was like, okay, wow. another great use for it. That, that is cool. amazing. And then as kids have gotten older, using it on acne and seeing that he'll... I mean, really? That works on acne. Wow. Wow. And then also it's just so full of antioxidants that a lot of my customers use it on their, you know, wrinkles to help slow those down, slow mm -hmm. down the aging process. I'm just thinking the whole time I'm talking, I'm thinking like the cracks in my heels. I'm like, that's yes. great for the cracks in my <laughs> for heels. For real. I've, that hurts all the time. So yep. I'm like, oh. mm -hmm. Okay. So I would love to like see what you came up with. Like, a okay. Yeah. So, this, you, so this is the first date. That's the first date. Do you want to yep. check it out? <laughs> Very fina. Very cool. Also, also comes in an ointment. Do you want to? Oh, yeah. And it has kind of a strong, earthy scent. Some people love it. Some people are not so much of a fan of it. But it's the Tamanu that you're smelling along with some mm -hmm. essential oils. Yeah, yeah it just smells green. like an essential oil. Mm -hmm. yeah. It smells kind of good to me. Yeah. So do you like the stick better or the um, or this better? Or I use them both. If there's like a pressure-sensitive wound, this mm -hmm. is like softer to put on. Okay. Um, the first aid stick is just really convenient if you just want to like rub just it on. Just rub it on. Yeah. yeah. I kind of like the smell. That's what I said. Yeah. I, I thought yeah. it smelled good. Yeah. Most people say they like it, but I mean, it's not like a pretty smell. Yeah. It's very earthy. Yeah. yeah. And some people are like, eh. Most people like it. But I, I like, like it. earthy smells. I like, do too. Oh, like yeah. all, if I go to the gym... And I'm like working out next to someone and I, all I can smell is like perfume. Oh. Like, oh. <laughs> it's like sickening. <laughs> I'm going to get cancer just smelling them. Oh, <laughs> Literally though, do you know that fragrance has hundreds of chemicals in it? Yeah. I'm, yeah. Crazy. I, it's like not good. Like, yeah. Yeah. Candles. And I know. We do, the, we do the thingies, the essential oil things. Yeah. Trying, yeah. to, I mean, we're trying to survive. Mm -hmm. We're just right? trying to survive. <laughs> like dodging so, all the chemicals. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's, There's just this. so many out there. It's just like, There's I don't a lot. Know. You, well you, just gotta, you just have to do your best. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then you just, just don't do worry about it. Mm -hmm. Have a healthy mindset and that'll take care of the rest. Yeah, yeah that's what Absolutely. I'm hoping for. So, yeah. so you were a graphic designer before this, right? Yeah. Is that what you said? Mm -hmm. So did you come up with the logo and everything? Um, so I actually did hire somebody else to do the logo. Um. I had put some in and then I had, we had a team that kind of decided the best one. And so, yeah, this logo one was simple. Is it, so is that, yeah, it's really simple. I mm -hmm. like it. Um, mm -hmm. it's cute. Is it, they're leaves? Yeah. So just kind of yep. signi signify Nature. natural. Nature. Yeah. Gotcha. And then the name Vera means very or truly and Fina means pure or beautiful. Oh, so. oh that's so that's really I feel, cool. Yeah, I feel yeah. like it works. I'm like, that oh. That is cool. That is cool. <laughs> yeah. Did you have a few different like runner ups for names? Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, I think, um, and we had a marketing team that helped come up with a bunch of names. Mm -hmm. Um, so just a part of the story I haven't shared is after that boutique that I did with my sister-in-law, I did a craft fair, um, up in Idaho and it was crazy. The booth was packed full the entire time. Wow. I think we left that show. It was like a one day show. I think we left in like $4,000 worth of sales, nice. which was crazy. That is cool. Like before all this, I was, we were living in poverty and. I was like leveraging my credit card to buy supplies wow. and just like, just going off a of prayer <laughs> that things would work out. Um, and so I took that money and then we did the What a Woman Wants show here in Salt Lake. Mm -hmm. This is back in 2011. And uh, same thing with that show, just busy, busy booth the whole time. And then I had some people contact me and they wanted to invest in my company. And that's when we changed the name to Verafina. Mm -hmm. Um but they had invested and became partners with me. We turned it into a party plan company mm -hmm. for about a year before okay. I took the company back over on my own and we just went back to e-commerce. But So did you not like that? The um, It was okay. My, my business partners at the time, they wanted things to move a lot quicker than mm -hmm. they did. 
and they were just ready to move on to the next project and they were wonderful. Like I really feel like they came into my life for a reason. Mm -hmm. Um, and it great laid a lot of the footwork for building the business. So I was really grateful for that and they were wonderful to work with, but we just decided to go in different directions and, and then I took the company back over at that point, um, a hundred percent. So yeah, when I was with them, that's when we did all the marketing and the branding and, Mm -hmm. and things like that. So do you feel like this was an inspired idea? Absolutely. And it's not something that I consciously chose, but Mm -hmm. when I chose you, absolutely. Yeah. A hundred percent, which is weird because I never, it never crossed my mind that I would do something like this. It just kind of fell into my lap and Mm -hmm. it just made sense because running my business feels like I'm doing something for the world. I'm doing something to help individuals and health has always been something really important to me. So I feel like I'm offering people education and options for products that are healthy and good for them. And that makes me feel like I have a purpose, Mm -hmm. like an actual real purpose on this planet to bring value to the world. And so it's very satisfying on a very like, heart level, soul Mm -hmm. level to be doing what I'm doing. And you know, it comes with its challenges because being in business for yourself, as you know, Mm -hmm. has its ups and downs. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, you know, things are slow and you're like, "Ah, (laughs) what am I going to do? Will it come back? Yeah. (laughs) It's gone forever. (laughs) Yeah. Well, it's just interesting because I think the more we've talked to people there, we we spoke with uh, the creator. I don't know if you ever heard of Rad Swim. Same thing. We did an interview with her. So that's, I know it was that way with Holly. Mm Mm-hmm. And now you, it's just like, there must, I don't know. It's just all these people that are just like, this idea was given to me, Mm -hmm. you know, it's just, it's just strange to me. I mean, not strange because obviously I believe it happens a hundred percent, but it's just interesting to see all these companies popping up because of just people like you guys that are just given ideas. Yeah. Not saying you don't work for them. I know you work your butts off for everything you do. But the inspiration. The inspiration is the the foundation of it all. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that inspiration and then it's just just interesting. You just follow cool. the, you follow the breadcrumbs. Yeah. yeah <laughs> the just, next logical step. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's yeah. really cool. So fun yeah. story. Yeah. yeah. That's very cool. Yeah. So being a mom of three, you mm-hmm. have three kids and yeah. a single mom. Yeah. What is that like? Like running a business and raising kids, like the juggle, like how, it's crazy. how do you do it? It's crazy. <laughs> yeah. No, things are really busy. It's chaotic. Um, and yeah, it's definitely a lot to juggle. And my kids are teenagers now, but mm-hmm. I feel like they need me more now than they did when they were little. <laughs> that makes sense. Right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah there's definitely a lot. Oh, it's a lot. <laughs> it's it's teenagers. Just in the head, so <laughs> oh, it's a lot. Um, but I think, you know, for my kids, because um, I've been a single mom for a long time, uh, close to 13 years. And so from the time they were really little, teaching them independence and helping them to become self sufficient at a young age. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think not only was it good to help me to be able to compartmentalize and, and work on my business while they were still little, but it's helped them become ready for the world, ready for the adult world. So I think it's just a lot of trying to, and I don't think you can really have like a work-life balance. Mm-hmm. It's never balanced. That's true. <laughs> yeah. That's true. It's never balanced, but you just kind of deal with what's in front of you. <laughs> and I, I know for me, this has been a big thing even more recently is deciding what's the most important, prioritizing those things in my life that are the most important and then having to say no to a lot of things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. It's always been hard for me to say no because I have so many people in my life that I love and adore and want to do things for and want to spend time with. But I found that I was getting pulled in so many different directions all the time that I was so stressed out Mm -hmm. that everything was kind of just falling to the wayside. All Mm -hmm. the things that were important were just weren't getting my attention. So I did learn that one of the most important things is to prioritize like Mm -hmm. your top five, Mm -hmm. which is my kids, my business and certain relationships in my life and my own health and well-being, my mental health and physical health. And then everything else just it's okay if it's a no. And I've come to peace. I've I've come to terms with that. And and now it's things just feel so much easier. (laughs) Yeah. yeah, there's room for everything that matters now. <laughs> and it's so funny too, because I am totally on board with like self care and like taking care of yourself. Yeah. And at first, you think it's like this Being selfish. selfish thing, and you're like, I don't have time to take care of. I don't have time for that. Yeah. But in reality, like it's not that's what makes you have time for everything else. <sighs> it's essential. <laughs> yeah, it is essential. Yeah. Well, because I know just running your own business, it is never. I don't think a lot of people who don't have businesses understand that it is never over. Mm. Right. You're, you're working <laughs> 1030 at night, 
<laughs> midnight, three yeah. in the morning. You yeah. know, people that people always are like, oh, you got it so good. You have a business and you do this. I'm like, they think that. you have no idea. They have no idea. <laughs> like constantly working. It's all like, that's yeah. what we, we've, I mean, all of our arguments is married couple because we never have time to think about anything else because we're focusing on our businesses and yeah. all this other stuff. I'm like, we never have fun because we just, you know, mm -hmm. anytime we're alone, we're like talking about this or talking about this. And yeah. so, mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, and especially just, if you're creatives, you're you're constantly having ideas. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's just taking up your time. But yeah. It so do, you, do your kids want to be a part of this? Well, um, I mean, they have their own interests, but my daughter, she actually started her own brand oh, cool. um, in the cosmetic side. Oh, wow. Very and cool. she's kind of, she's not like into as pure of ingredients as I am, uh -huh. but she's still, so right now she has a lip gloss that she's launched and they're still, um, and she's 16. She's 16. Wow. Yeah. So that's amazing. She's kind of like got that entrepreneurial spirit. All of my kids do. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Um, and I love, I love mentoring her cause it's fun to teach her like the formulating process and all the things that I've taken for granted doing it for so long. And like, Oh, it's just part of what I do. But mm -hmm. teaching her makes me go, okay, I've learned a few things yeah. along <laughs> the years. And, and I love teaching. I think if I wasn't doing this, I'd probably do something in education, but I love teaching her and guiding her and seeing her take on that entrepreneurial spirit. And it takes a lot of uh, determination and grit and, you know, cause there are sure. some problems when she was working on her, her products and mm -hmm. I'm like, it's okay. This is, you, yeah. you just gotta get used part to this. This is part of the process. <laughs> yeah. of the process. Yeah. Like, don't let it get you down. It's normal. It's never a straight line. Yep. You just problem solve and you mm -hmm. figure it out. And I think that's been really good for her. And then of course my, my youngest, he's in the public eye and mm -hmm. of course he's an entrepreneur as well in a different way. And so are they homeschooled? Are your kids homeschooled? They or? do. They do online school. Online? Okay. Yeah. That's what makes we do. Things yeah. Easier. Yeah. I mean, online has its challenges as well, but mm -hmm. yeah, it's, it's been fun to kind of see my kids take pieces of what I've gone through. And of course they're doing it their own way because mm -hmm. they're individuals, but mm -hmm. it, I definitely see the influence in the way that they're, as they've grown up, the way that they're choosing their careers and choosing how they live their lives. And so, so some things have, have uh, sunk in yeah. that I think are, <laughs> that's good. Are good for them. <laughs> That's good. Is it sometimes hard to like see them like making the wrong choice or like doing the wrong thing? <laughs> yes. And you're like, no. <laughs> oh, it is hard. It is really hard. Um, I have a really, really close relationship with my kids and to the point where they can tell me anything and they tell me everything, things I don't want to know sometimes. <laughs> like, I, don't tell me or I'm going to worry. <laughs> but I love that because I know that they can come to me and I'm not going to be shocked by things that they tell me. Mm -hmm. I can just keep my poker face yeah. and be like, okay, how do you feel about that? And what are you going to do about that? And what are your, what's your thought process? Yeah. And I can help kind of mentor them from like a consulting, consulting standpoint. And I think that's been good for them too, because we have, we built a ton of trust. That's awesome. And I love that. Mm -hmm. I think it's so important. They have a lot of friends who don't have that with their parents. Yeah. And I see the toll that it takes on these kids who need somebody they can trust to talk to and not hold anything back. Mm -hmm. And so I love that I have that relationship with my kids. Yeah. That's awesome. Oh, it's also really hard sometimes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like la, it's la, 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 la. Yeah. <laughs> it is. But they're yeah. not They're not doing too bad. I mean, just normal, yeah. normal teenage stuff. Yeah. But. Well, I, I, we love what you're doing. Yeah. I mean, this, Thank I think you. you're making a huge impact. It's you pretty are. inspiring. I it's very so. inspiring. So, so it's very cool to see all the, the people that are doing amazing things on a local level. Mm -hmm. So many people are doing amazing things. Yep. I feel mm -hmm. like this world is just chock full of amazing people. It really is. Here's a couple it right really, here. Yeah. <laughs> Thank it, you. It's, it's fun to just see like starting from yeah. one little tiny idea, yeah. growing it into a big business. So it's, it's amazing. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. It's been a fun journey. I yeah. learned a lot. Well, yeah. And I'm excited yeah. to try these products. Oh my gosh. Yes, I, I, I have, I have I gifts for you. So stuff. you get to try a bunch of stuff. We're excited yeah. to try that. That's right up our, <laughs> that's what we do. Yeah. So. Awesome. And then for your viewers, I have a coupon code if they're, oh yeah. If you want to try awesome. anything. Yeah. What is so, it? Mayband 15 for 15% off. Oh, well, awesome. That works. Okay. Mayband so, 15, 15% yep, May, off. Mayband 15. We'll put it in the description as well. Yeah. So cool. Perfect. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much for having me. You guys are delightful. I oh, enjoy, I enjoy you. watching your, your YouTube channel. Thank oh, you. the, the kids one. <laughs> is that the one you're Well, about? the May Band. Oh, the, the May Band. Okay. The I thought you were version. talking about the, our family channel. Yeah. But. I love we, your dynamic. We have a few different, different, we have a few different ones. Yeah. So yeah, I haven't checked out your family channel yet. That'll yeah. be on my, my list for today. Yeah. No rush. No yeah. rush. <laughs> 
Well, thank you for coming. <laughs> thank you for awesome. having me. This yeah. is great to meet you. you. So much. Good to meet you guys. Yeah. You're killing it. So. <laughs> hey, if you have any questions or comments, comment down below. Make sure you go check out her products at yep. verafina.com. That's V E R E F I N A. Yep. And, and Verafina on all the socials as well. Yeah. Verafina on all, all the socials. socials. Yeah. Yes. Cool. Go, awesome. Go check her out and try her stuff. Yep. Try it. Yep. <laughs> 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 and thanks for watching Mayband. All right. See ya. Bye.